looking for the next opportunity? Well, there's one question on everyone's mind. Why be interested in Gatekeeper? The answer is simple. Current performance. That's why. Stay tuned as we dive into the journey of Gatekeeper Systems, uncovering the performance of over 100% in the past few months and what makes it an interesting stock. Don't miss out on a potential investment as we uncover it. Welcome back to Look to Trader. As usual, we will shine spotlight on a new stock, this time Gatekeeper Systems. First, we will look at the vision, from then on the management team. Afterwards, a little look into the products and verticals, and as usual, the financial with its current performance. Lastly, the bull and bear arguments will be presented, as well as my opinion in the end, so stay tuned. The vision that Gatekeeper has currently is to protect people in transit, be it children in school buses or adults using the transit system. That's why a management team is needed to fulfill that vision, which consists of the CEO and founder Doug Diamond with over 30 years of experience in the video security industry. Next up is Kelsey Chin, being the CFO of Gatekeeper Systems and other public companies. Lastly, we have Douglas Fraser, who is the Vice President of Product and Programs with over 30 years of experience in product and project management. The history of Gatekeeper is pretty normal as it involved being founded in 1997 by Douglas Diamond, who has had a strong presence in the video industry since 1992. Over a decade later, in 2013, the company has finally become public as they bought a shell called Indigo Sky Capital. And until now, in 2014, the company continues operation and evolves to become a SaaS business as it is moving from PaaS. The company has been evolving continuously and is increasing their product offerings. In terms of the products and verticals, the company mostly distinguishes between the bus segment and rail segment. In this case, both segments use the products which are comprised of mobile data collectors and cameras. They also provide analytics and automated lane enforcement solutions for transit buses. And to be more specific, they have a wide range of products from interior to exterior cameras, Wi-Fi systems, AI dashcams, and others. In terms of the rail segment, they also provide health status check, which are also available for buses. And for every train, you have the availability to just have a passenger counting system. And this one is only available for the rail segment. Moving to the market size. In this case, the global mobile video surveillance market is expected to grow around 7.9% annually in the next few years, leading to a market forecasted to be around 3.9 billion US dollars big. Therefore, it is enough room for Gatekeeper to grow. Here is a quick look into the competition or rather companies in the space and adjacent to them. In the public markets, we also have companies such as Record Systems. So as you can see, judging by the picture, there is definitely enough competition present in their industry. Now we're coming to the good old financials and what Gatekeeper has in store for us. First of all, if we look at the past eight quarters, we can see consistent growth with rather big fluctuations and lumpy revenue. Gross profit margins seem to stabilize around 45% and the income is increasing as we grow in revenues. Last quarter, there was a net income recorded of around 2.3 million Canadian dollars. If you look at their total assets, they are increasing. However, we have to note that there is a decrease in cash and also a decrease in the shareholder deficit. Now, looking at the cash flow statement, we can see that there has been a negative cash flow this quarter. In this case, we wanted to return to free cash flow positive over time due to the net income. If this doesn't happen in the next few quarters, it will be very odd, in fact. However, note that the company's cash flow is as volatile as the revenues, which can be contributed due to SEPTA deals and other factors. So, it happened of actually a few times that it was cash flow positive looking at past quarters. Now moving to the MDNA and the highlights include robust revenue growth as gatekeepers revenue reached 9.8 million 
Canadian dollars for the three months ending November 30th, 2023, marking an increase of 101% compared to the same period in the prior year. Secondly, we have gross margin improvements to 49%, up from 32% in the previous year, indicating enhanced profitability and effective cost management, and the gross profit overall surged by 209% year over year, reaching 4.7 million Canadian dollars. Thirdly, we have income growth as gatekeeper achieved a income of 2.3 million Canadian dollars during the period, a significant improvement compared to a loss of 86 thousand dollars in the same period of the previous year fourthly we have operational innovation as gatekeeper continues to launch new products and feature enhancements including artificial intelligent solutions for reliable video evidence collection and lastly we have market expansion and financial position as gatekeeper expanded its product offerings into the school and transit market introducing technologies such as the i-cam and advanced driver assistance systems. Additionally, the company maintains a healthy financial position with $2.3 million in cash and cash equivalents and a working capital of $15 million Canadian dollars as of November 30th, 2023. Let's talk about the bull arguments for gatekeeper systems, which are future prospects, performance and execution. Starting with future prospects, this is a point that comes up a lot of times from certain shareholders as the company is continuing to increase their product offerings and trying to expand to other markets, increasing their potential addressable market and offering better solutions while moving to a SaaS type business. Now is the company's performance as the company has not just been performing quite good just this quarter, but also comparing 2023 last nine months to 2022, which shows that the management has been continuously improving and executing on their mission to protect people in transit. Despite the volatility of their earnings, they show a great trend, which is in this case up and continuous improvements in the gross profit margin, which seems to stabilize at around 45%, as mentioned before. Lastly, the execution that Gatekeeper has shown is great as they show that at this point of the growth cycle, they can continue to execute and drive further revenue. In this case, the hope for some shareholders is the blue sky potential, which comes from the fact that they could get another transit agency in North America, not just SEPTA, and overall there are seven of them. So there's a lot of room to grow for gatekeeper systems. Now comes the bare arguments. And those are some of the potential risks which could keep investors away, which are reliance, lappy revenue and competition. First of all is the reliance on SEPTA, which is a railway agency in North America. They are essentially what the transit segment at gatekeeper is made of. It just started a few years ago and it has already made over 40 million Canadian dollars in revenue since 2019. Gatekeeper gets a lot of big contracts from them and they are really reliant on SEPTA. So Gatekeeper needs to diversify by adding other agencies. Otherwise, they face a rather important risk. Next up, we have Lumpy Revenue, which is Lumpy and Lumpy. (laughs) The revenue is just uh, in one quarter, it can be around 9 million Canadian, while the next one can be sitting at 5 million Canadian, which shows their volatility. This is keeping some potential investors away as this volatility can lead to big swings in the share price, which just happened last year. Certain investors want more stability going forward and for gatekeeper. It will take time until they move to a SaaS business with higher recurring revenue and perhaps more stability. Lastly, we have competition, which is sort of a big question mark. The market has a rather big amount of competitors, some of which are public, some of which are not. Gatekeeper will need to invest continuously to not lose any potential clients, or perhaps they will need 
to use some of their cash to buy out other companies as the CEO has expressed an interest in it a few months ago. M&A, however, is definitely not the focus. It's rather a byproduct of a good environment enabling such a transaction. Therefore, it will be interesting to see what competition might do to their business model. That's why some investors might still be looking from the sidelines and are potentially waiting until they reach a SaaS type business. In terms of my opinion, I first of all want to make a disclaimer. I don't own any shares of Gatekeeper. It is essential to remember that my personal investment decisions should not influence yours. Always conduct thorough research and consider your own financial goals and risk tolerance before investing in any stock. I have to say that I'm still biased and in this case at least, I consider the bullish arguments to weigh over the bearish arguments. And despite the bearish arguments making it sort of more difficult to assess the company, I do like the business model and its recurring nature as it is past. And the potential I see here is that they add other agencies for the rail segment, which could significantly increase the revenue, as well as their bus segment, which has still a lot of room to grow. And we also should not forget that their cameras can be used for other purposes, such as dash cameras in police cars and other types of use cases. In addition, they're also bringing in AI and moving to a SaaS type business and increasing their efficiency overall. But as it currently stands in terms of what is not to like about Gatekeeper, yes, there there is competition and there are some risks, but it is appealing at least to me as currently they have a trailing 12-month fee of around 13, which rather makes them fairly too attractively valued, in my opinion. If anyone wants to buy the stock, I would at least recommend to do it in a few tranches, as Gatekeeper is known to be volatile, and it would at least enable a moving out of the risk in terms of catching a rather bad price. I'm not providing any price target and in this regard, continue to research on your own. In this regard, that's it for today, guys. In terms of Gatekeeper, it is an interesting company worth keeping an eye on and having it on your watch list. And until next time, happy investing.